Hello, good evening. Hello, are you ready? Good evening, yes. Okay, good. Yes, teacher. teacher. All right. So yesterday we were looking at vocabulary, okay, about clothes. Do you remember the vocabulary about clothes? What do you wear to work? What do you wear to work, Jose, for example? What do you wear to work? Okay, another person, let's see. Nestor. Huh? Nestor, I am wear pants, black. Okay. I am wear t-shirt white. Okay, very good. Uh, let's and see. I am wear shoes black. Now, una pregunta. Eh, ¿Eso es lo que tienes puesto ahorita o lo que tú usas para trabajo? Para el trabajo. Ah, okay. Entonces, the verb is I wear. I wear. I okay. wear. Ya, yeah, si estuvieras ahorita describiendo lo que tienes Pero ahorita. Yo esto es I am. I am wearing. Okay, I am okay. wearing. Que lo vamos a ver ahora también. Okay, very good. Uh, Marcos, what do you wear to work? Marcos, hello. Um, I am wearing uh, the blue pants. Mm -hmm. uh, I am wearing the gray t shirt. Mm -hmm. uh, I am wearing a white uh, hat. Okay. Now, ¿es necesario decir I am? No. I wear only. That's simple present. Simple I present. Wear. Mm -hmm. Now, Entonces, si I wear usando... es cuando. Es que, es que veo, veo que tú estás ahorita viendo un video, ¿verdad? <ríe> Tal vez estás viendo el de simple present. Eh, perdón, el de present continuous. Si, si ah, yo quiero ah, describir lo que yo tengo puesto ahorita, I uh -huh. am wearing. I am wearing. Por ejemplo, no sé si tú puedes ver la cámara ahorita. I am wearing a blue shirt. Do you see? Okay. Yes. Now, si yo quiero decir lo que yo uso al trabajo, I wear. Okay. I am wearing a blue shirt. I wear a uniform to work. Okay? okay. Very good. Now, uh, the other thing that we did, ¿qué más hicimos ayer? Do you remember? ¿Qué más hicimos? So, we saw the vocabulary, right? Vocabulary. Okay. Vimos esto. Después que vimos. Hicimos este speaking exercise. Okay, so let me ask some questions. Vamos a ver. Okay, uh, say, uh, Jose, do you remember these questions from yesterday? Yes, teacher. What do you wear for work? Uh, <clears throat> what What do you want for work? Um, uh, I wear in the no, no te blue pants. No, no se confundan. I, I am wearing con I wear. I wear a simple yeah. present. Okay. okay. I am wearing, I, ya lo vamos a ver. Como en media uh, hora vamos a ver eso. Pero esa es la, la siguiente lección. Okay. I wear the blue pants. Mm -hmm. uh, I wear um, brown shirt. Okay. Um, I, I, I wear the boot, black boots mm -hmm. only. Okay, very good. Now, we also talked about leisure when you're at home relaxing. What do you wear when you are home? Uh, let's say, for example, uh, uh, Sara, what do you wear for leisure? ¿Qué quiere decir leisure? When you're home relaxing. 
I wear is short. Okay. Oh, I wear is blue short. Uh -huh. um, pink blues. Okay. Um, I wear um, uh, black okay. shoes. Veamos el vocabulario. What about sneakers, shorts, t-shirt, jeans? Se les ha olvidado. Se les olvidó, verdad, el vocabulario. <laughs> All right. Repeat after me. Right? Empezamos aquí. Clothes for work. For men. Shirt. Repeat. The shirt. Hi. Hi. Corbata, tie. Uh, you can say jacket. Jacket. Coat. Coat. Shoes. Coat. Shoes. Shoes. Pants. Pants. Belt. 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 Okay, very good. For women. A blouse. Repeat. Blouse. Scarf. Skirt. 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 High heels. High heels. High heels. Very good. Uh, let's look at clothes for leisure when you're relaxing, right? Aunque esta ropa es para el ambiente frío, right? Let's say you go, you go to El Pital or you go to Guatemala, okay? Uh, yeah. Hat. Hat. Sweater. 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 Gloves. 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 Jeans. 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 Boots. 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 Okay, very good. Ah, se, no, se nos olvidó los de abajo. For clothes. For women, you can wear dress. 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 Vestido, dress. Okay, leisure. Uh, you can wear a, a cap. Repeat, a cap. 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 Or you can say hat. También, yo para mí los términos intercambiables. Cap or hat. You can cap. say cap or hat. T-shirt. 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 Shorts. 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 No, no shirt, sino que O, como una O, short. T-shirt. 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 Short. 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 Okay. Now, aquí, él también tiene una, t una shirt. Es más formal. Shirt. T-shirt. T-shirt. Más informal, ¿verdad? Como camiseta. Shorts. Shorts. So repeat. Shirt. Shorts. Shorts. T-shirt. 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 Shorts. Shorts. Put a S. Hay una S al final. Shorts. 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 Uh -huh, very good. Socks. Socks. Sneakers. Sneakers. Or you can say tennis shoes. It's, it's, it's okay. Okay, and then for the beach. Ah, for sleeping. Pijamas. 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 Uh, swimsuits. 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 Very good. Okay. So, going back. To the question, esta es la lección 4.1, ¿verdad? The video. Uh, what do you wear to the beach? Uh, let's see. Eh, ah, Roberto no tiene micrófono. ¿Qué más? Eh, Nelly, what do you wear to the beach? I wear 
a skins fish. Uh -huh. I, I wear a short, I wear a sandals, I wear a cap, I wear a sunglasses. Very good, excellent. Good job. Uh, David, what do you wear to a formal event? Formal event. Formal. So maybe you can look at the vocabulary. Event. What do you wear? David, David Lemus? Sí. Sí, este sería, I wear, I wear a evening dress. Vestido. For you? Mm. Suit. 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 Un traje. Suit. Okay. Suit. What else do you wear for a formal event? Right? For example, una boda. Or uh, a meeting. A job interview. David? David? Sure. David? Sí, sería... Come on, come on. Look. So, simplemente ve la foto, David. Repetime lo que ves ahí en la foto. Porque está, está vestido bastante formal el señor ahí, ¿verdad? Cierto. Sí. ¿Puedes ver mi pantalla, David? Sí. Let's go. Repeat the vocabulary. No, ¿Has visto el video, David? ¿Ya viste sí, el video? Ok. Tell me, what do you wear for a formal event? For example, a wedding, a job interview. What do you wear? I wear a shirt, a jacket, mm -hmm. and pants. Perfect. And just. Ahí está. Fácil. Very good. Good job, David. Okay. All right, very good. ¿Qué hicimos después de esto? He hecho una, 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 una cuestión. Ajá. Cuando te hacen una pregunta y vas a decir el conjunto de, de cosas, o sea, la, hay que decir, puedes decir, like, wear eh, uh -huh. pants, shirts, eh, um, shoes, por ejemplo. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. O sea, seguido, o uh -huh. hay algún objetivo, algo que hay que decir antes de... De cada prenda. Mira, si son nouns, como en este caso son nouns, no hay una orden. Pero si tú vas a usar calificativos, sí hay una orden de calificativos. Pero eso no aplica aquí, porque simplemente son nouns. Okay? No hay una orden específica for nouns. Gracias. Ok. All right, very good. Um, let me show you the next thing that we did. Do you remember? Vimos los possessives. Possessives. Ok. Now, para este nivel, ustedes tienen que manejar tres pronouns. Number one, subject pronouns. Okay? He, she, you, it, we, they. Okay? Right? No confundan he or she. Because, remember, he, male, she, female. Okay? So, this is the basic one. Okay? This is the, the first one that we need to look at. Number two, possessive adjectives. What can your color? Me, you, his, her, it's, all, yo, they. Okay. Can you give me an example, Brenda? How do you use these? ¿Cómo se usan? Me. No, no es mi, my. my. My, your, is, her, it's. No, oh. es, sí, sí, esta es la lista, pero ¿cómo, ¿cómo puedo usarlos? ¿Me puede dar un ejemplo, una oración? Uh, my color is, favorite color is. Uh -huh. What is your favorite color? Blue. Ahí está. My favorite color is blue. Very good. Okay. And let's see, Vanessa, give me an example. Maybe you can use his or her. Uh, 
Yeah. Can you, can you repeat? This is her book. This is her book. Very good. Y ahí estamos usando los de demostrativos que ya vimos, right? This, that, these, those. Very good. This is her book. Very good. Now, the next one that you need to see, that you need to have knowledge of, is the possessive pronoun. Okay? Possessive pronoun. Ese está en la lista que hicimos. En la, en la, perdón, esta, en esta lección. Possessive pronoun. So, let's take the same example that Vanessa gave us, okay? Ella nos dio un ejemplo usando possessive adjectives. This is her book, okay? How do I use this with possessive pronoun? This book is... ¿Cuál uso? Mine. Mine. No, usemos el mismo ejemplo que está usando ella. This is her book. Usemos el mismo ejemplo. This book is... Hers. 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 Ah, very good. Okay. All right, let's do, let's do another example. Okay. That is their house. That is their house. Donde estoy? Estoy aquí, ¿verdad? Aquí abajo. Possessive uh -huh. adjective. Okay. Now, ¿qué paso si pongo la casa primero? El noun casa primero. That is... No, that house, house. Uh -huh. is... is, is Theirs. Theirs. Ahí está. Do you see the difference? How do we use it? Yes. Okay. Yes. ¿Vieron? Que cambian, ¿verdad? Yes. Es como tan cruzados. Okay. So, a simple way to remember. Possessive adjectives. Si voy a usar los possessive adjectives, ok, estos. Entonces, mi noun, la cosa que estoy usando para describir, Va al final. Al final. Okay. Yeah. But if I use possessive adjectives, perdón, possessive pronoun, entonces el, pro, el pronoun, the possessive pronoun, va al final. Okay. Let's do another example. Another example. Okay. These are, um, let's see, our shoes. Okay. Possessive adjective, our. Possessive pronoun, ¿cómo sería? These shoes, shoes are, are ours. ¿Está? ¿Todos están ahí o alguien está perdido? Porque quiero aclarar eso. El uso de esos dos, del possessive adjective y possessive pronoun. Okay, so, no? Pregunten, okay. pregunten, pregunten, después viene el examen. It's okay, teacher. Okay, let's, let's see the video. I want to show you the video for possessive pronouns, okay? And then uh, the, after this, we're going to go to the next lesson. And uh, we're going to talk about the weather. And then finally, we want to, I want to do present continuous. So, aquí está nuestro curso, right? Lesson 4.1, close vocabulary. Algunos yeah. se les olvidó el vocabulario, ok? So, vean el video otra vez. De nada me sirve tener un chequecito verde aquí y no lo puedo usar. So, practice, practice. Watch the video one time, two times. Yo lo viera dos veces, tres veces, lo escribiera, lo practicara. All right? Porque de eso se trata. Colors. Uh, we're going to talk about the color. No, this is a conversation. Possessive 4.5. So let's go to the possessive pronoun. Okay. The teacher is going to explain how to use the possessive adjectives and possessive pronouns. Okay. Let's watch this video. In order to describe the long end of things, if you recall the conversation, it's a disaster, which you learned on our previous lesson. You heard how this topic is used. Uh, let me quickly show you that conversation dialogue and I'll point out the possessives in action. 
For example, if you notice the conversation, our clothes are dry. Where is my new blouse? Is it yours? No, it's not mine. I'm going to go ahead and grade those possesses that I want to emphasize on. In order to understand this topic, it's important that you understand the difference between possessive adjectives and pronouns and how they are used. So I'm going to draw a little chart to illustrate that. As you can see on this chart, if I talk about I, I will use the possessive adjective my and mine. If I talk about you, I will need to use your and yours. If I talk about he, I will need to use his and his. If I talk about she, I will need to use her and hers. If I talk about it, I will need to use its and its. If I talk about we, I will need to use our and ours. If I talk about they, I will need to use their and theirs. The next thing to understand about this topic is when exactly you use my or mine, for example. In order to explain that, I would like for you to look at the example on the screen. These are his socks. These socks are his. We want to keep the same example. So the first rule to learn is you will use possessive adjectives whenever the object is at the end of your sentence. For example, these are his socks. The object is socks. This is your umbrella. The object is umbrella. This is her car. The object is car. And um, let me point out what I mean by object. Socks. Umbrella and car. Now, you will use possessive pronouns whenever the object is at the beginning of the sentence or not mentioned at all. Let's work with the same examples to make sure that we don't get lost. Okay, very good. Now, I just want to play the video one more time, right? Para que quede claro the topic there of possessive pronouns, okay? Uh, questions for this topic? Do you have any questions? Alguien tiene una duda? Nestro? You good? It's okay, teacher. Okay, all right, very good. Let's go to the next topic. The next topic is weather, the weather, okay? So let's, Ah, este, y hay una prueba 4.5, ok, de possessive. 
4.6. Okay, let's talk about the weather. Okay, ¿qué quiere decir weather? Quiere decir weather. Clima. Porque ya vieron el video. Clima. Correct. Correct. Now, nosotros decimos en el español tiempo. Pero no por, por eso no puedes traducir literalmente, ¿verdad? Porque sería time. How is the time? Is it cold? <laughs> no tiene sentido en inglés, ¿verdad? So, the correct vocabulary para el clima is weather. Okay, let's watch this video. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll become familiar with the weather seasons. And you'll also listen to a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used. Let's start by listening and repeating. It's spring in Brazil. It's warm. It's very sunny. It's summer in Korea. It's raining. It's hot and humid. It's fall in the U.S. It's cool. It's cloudy and windy. It's winter in Russia. It's snowing. It's very cold. Now, let's listen to the conversation. It's very cold, which illustrates how this topic is used. Oh, no. What's the matter? It's snowing, and it's very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they're at home. Well, you're wearing your coat. But my coat isn't warm, and I'm not wearing boots. Okay, let's take a taxi. Thanks, Julie. What I would like for you to do next is to practice repeating the conversation that we just heard. This conversation... Okay, very good. Uh, Henry, do you have a question? Solamente una pequeña consulta, teacher. Digamos, uh -huh. este, para el uso, por ejemplo, de my o mine, es simplemente uh -huh. interpretativo. No hay como una regla a seguir. Sí, el video les dijo la regla, cual, y yo también se las expliqué. ¿Cuál es la regla? Regresando al tema de my. Del, de los procesos Solamente, pues, o sea, solamente poner, digamos, el, el complemento. O al final o al inicio. O sea, solamente eso. Es que sí hay una regla, Henry. Ok. Ok, ya, ya, te, ya te, te voy a contestar eso aparte, Henry. Ok. Te lo voy a contestar aparte. All right, very good. Eh, questions about the video. Do we have any questions about the video? What vocabulary do you see here? It's snowing. Quiere decir snowing. What is snowing? Nevando. Yes, Nevando. Okay. Can you tell me a country where it snows a lot? The United States. The United States, but no en todos los lugares. En ciertos eh, lugares no, 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 no cae nieve. A country where they have a lot of snow. Alaska. Alaska. Alaska es un estado, no un país, pero sí, Alaska. What about Canada? Yeah. A lot of snow. Mm -hmm. Another country? Otro país? Snow? Estados Unidos. Uh, sí, pero Estados Unidos no en todos los... los Rusia. Estados. Russia. Russia. Okay. Sí, Canada. Es que Canada. Canada. Okay. Es que en Estados Unidos no, no nieva en todos lugares, ¿verdad? Eh, en algunos York? estados, sí. ¿Ah? Yeah. New York. New York, yes. Snow, New York. It's very cold in New York. Yes. Germany. Germany also. Okay. And what about, ¿qué quiere decir esta palabra? Warm. Yeah. What is Caliente. warm? Caliente. Mm -hmm. Calor. Caliente. Sí. Caliente. Correct. Correct. Very good. Okay. So I have an activity. Let me see a little, a little presentation. I want to show you. Okay. I want you to help me describe these, these places. First, I'm going to give you the vocabulary. Repeat after me. Sunny. 
Sunny. Sunny. Sunny. Okay. Sunny. When you have a lot of sun. Sunny. 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 Cloudy. 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 Raining. 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 Rain. Snowing. 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 Hailing. 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 Granizo. Granizo. Granizos. Yeah, que no está cayendo granizos. Very good. Stormy. Stormy. Storm. ¿Qué quiere decir storm? Like, for example, eh, fuerte. Eh, tormenta yes, but, fuerte. Yeah, tormenta, like the one that we had, right? ¿Cómo se llamaba la tormenta que tuvimos? I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> Le pusieron como tres nombres. All right. I forgot, but storm. So it's a storm, it's not raining. Ya es una tormenta, ¿verdad? Una. una eh, ya conjunto de mucho. Uh -huh. Correct. Raining, stormy, foggy, repeat, foggy, 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 mm -hmm. clear, clear, clear. Okay, sometimes they say clear skies. Windy, repeat, windy, 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 windy. calm, calm, calm. calm. Tranquilo, right? ¿Qué quiere decir foggy? Niebla. Yes, nieblina. Very good. And then you have the temperature, right? Hot, cold, humid, dry. Humid. Repeat. Hot. 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 Cold. Hot. Cold. 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 Humid. 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 Dry. 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 Okay, very good. Now, I want to show you a picture. Uh, for example, if you say, ¿Cómo está el clima en San Salvador? You can say, oh, it's a mostly sunny. It's 25 Celsius. Well, in Estados Unidos, we use Fahrenheit, the system of Fahrenheit. Um, it's humidity, so it's very humid. Okay. Tomorrow is going to be raining, etc. Now, remember, weather. Weather, no decimos weather. tiempo. Bueno, weather. No decimos time, sino que decimos weather. Very good. Okay, repeat. Winter. 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 Winter is coming. Winter is coming, ah. Uh -huh. eh, winter, aquí le decimos, eh, bueno, aquí no tenemos winter muy bien, pero le decimos invierno. Winter. Invierno. Winter es invierno. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Spring. 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 Okay. Spring. En los países fríos, así como ustedes describieron algunos, Germany, you know, Canada, they have winter. Después de winter, spring. Primavera. Yes, primavera. Summer. Summer. It's hot, sunny. Autumn. Autumn. Okay. So, estas son las cuatro temporadas. Vocabulary. Winter. Repeat. Winter. Winter. Spring. Spring. Summer. 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 Autumn. Autumn. También esta se conoce como fall. You can also say fall. Como caer. Así, cuando se cae, viene de, de la idea que cuando, cuando están cayendo la nieve. Perdón, cuando está cayendo las hojas. Fall. Okay, very good. I'm going to show you a picture and describe to me. How do you describe this picture? Clear. Clear. Cloudy. Muchas. Hay muchas eh, eh, nubes. No? No. No, man. Eh? How can you It's describe sunny. this picture? Sunny. 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 Oh. Very good. Y... What did we say? What vocabulary can you use to describe the sky? Mm. Cuando no está nublado, it's not cloudy. What do you say? Clear. 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 Very good. Clear. Okay. Clear skies. 
sunny. Ok. Now, solo para su vocabulario. ¿Qué más ven aquí? What do you see? Geography. What do you see? Mm. <coughs> the sun. Ajá, the pero sun. The sun. Ajá. ¿Qué más? What, is, what else do you see in the picture? The, the tree. Tree. Trees. Trees. Very good. Ah. ¿Qué más? Aquí estoy Bravo. probando el vocabulario. Just whatever you can say. Vocabulary. Sky. Sky. Very good. Mountain. What are these? Mountain. Mountain. Mountains. Very Mountain. good. Mountain. Yes, there you go. I want to see. All right, next. Las nubes. Clouds. What? Clouds. Yeah. Let's go to the next picture. How do you describe this? Cloud. Cloudy. Cloudy. Se le olvidó el vocabulary. Come on. Cloudy. You got to use the vocabulary. Cloudy. Cloudy. Very Cloudy. good. Mm -hmm. Cloudy. What about this one? Raining. 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 Uh, this is, parece que, we said that when you have, uh, for example, Cristobal, I, th I think that's the name of the, the storm. Remember? Um, stormy. 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 Or storm. Um, Very good, right? Ya yeah, esto parece una tormenta fuerte. Storm. Repeat. Storm. 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 What about this? Snowing. 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 Very good. Snow. Okay. Winter. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes. ¿Qué temporada sería? Maybe. Sería verano. Summer. No. Winter. 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 What about this one? What do you see? The same, right? Windy. Mm, windy. Tal vez yo no veo mucho viento, pero uh, what what do you see? A lot. Snow. Snow. No. Snow, right? Winter is here. Yes, winter is here. Okay, what about this one? Yeah. What do you see? Windy. 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 How can you describe this? Hot. 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 Remember in the video, in the in the in the conversation, of the uh, vocabulary that we saw. Yeah. Hot. Hot. Le voy a tener que mostrar el, el vocabulary. Se lo olvidó. Repeat. Sunny. 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 Cloudy. Cloudy. Raining. Raining. Snowing. Snowing. Hailing. Snow. Hailing. Storm Hailing. or stormy. Storm. Storm. Foggy. Storm. Foggy. Clear. Foggy. Clear. Clear. Windy. 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 Calm. Calm. Cold. Hot. 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 Cold. 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 Humid. Humid. Okay. Y el otro creo que dry. Seco. Dry. Que okay. no se lee, teacher. Eso no se ve. Sí. No, no se ve en los últimos de abajo, si los pudiera subir. No puedo, en la foto no, no, salió, no salió en la presentación. Don't worry. No podemos no. escribir. Apenas okay. el oído. Hot. Okay. Look at Hot. the picture. Dicen Hot. que una, una foto dice mil palabras. Hot. Hot. I mean, Hot. También. Humid. 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 Warm. 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 Okay, so let's write those words. Hot. Humid. Hot. Warm. Mm -hmm. Okay, these are all words you can use to describe this section. Very good. Okay, hot and humid. Okay, all right. 
Very good. Do you have any questions about this? About the weather? Questions? No? Yo, teacher. Yes, ah, William. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y después no. tengo una pregunta para Henry, que ya le voy a contestar. Ajá. Uh -huh. Néstor, Néstor. Sí, dale. Tell me. Este, ¿por qué, es, ¿por qué se le agrega la, al, al rain ING y no solo puede decir uno rain? Eh, pe, por ejemplo, y eso lo vamos a ver ahorita. It is raining. Ok. Present sí. continuous. It's happening now, right now, raining. How's the weather? It's raining. For example, it rain. rain. It rain simplemente is a noun. Rain. Julia. It's just noun. Okay. But raining is present continuous. Okay. Eso lo vamos a ver ahorita. Okay. Henry. Henry. Question. Okay. This is my book. Okay. This book is mine. Henry, para contestarte, sí, hay una regla. Cuando tú usas el noun, este es el noun, ¿ok? Cuando tú usas el noun, al final tú vas a usar my. Cuando tú usas el noun, antes del pronombre tú usas mine. Henry, ¿te contesté? Sí, sí, entiendo. Sí. Ok, esa es la, esa es la regla. También él explica en el video al teacher que o oh, cuando no se menciona, por ejemplo, it's mine. Ok, aquí yo no mencioné book, entonces voy a usar eh, possessive pronoun. Ok, este se llama possessive adjective. And, ¿Cómo se llama este? Possessive pronoun. Oh, no. okay. Very good. All right. Questions? Questions? No? All right. Let's Ready. go to the next topic. The next topic that I have is present continuous. So let's talk about the present continuous. Okay. What is the present continuous? I use it to talk about activities and things that I am doing right now. ¿Nunca he escuchado esta frase? In English? Yes. Right now. Right now. Yes. Right now. Okay. Hey, correct. Correct. What are you doing right now? So let me see. Okay, question. Okay. What are you doing right now? ¿Quién se atreve a contestar esta pregunta? Uh, I, am, I am learning English. Yes, very good. Ah, uh, Jose, what do you think? It's okay, teacher. <laughs> yes, uh -huh, correct. Very yeah, good. It's correct. Exactly. So, what do I use? I use subject plus verb to be. Bien importante que usen el verb to be para esta estructura. Then I use the verb and then I put ing on the verb. And then I use my complement. Okay? For example, I am teaching English. Okay? Teach. Okay? I am sitting down. Okay? I am drinking water. Or no, water. Okay? So, subject I, the verb to be is am, en el caso solo de I. Verb plus ing, teaching, sitting, learning, raining, etc. Okay? Now, what happens if I use I? I have to use am. 
Now, if I use he, she, or it, I have to use is. Okay? I have to use mm -hmm. is. For example, podría yo venir aquí y cambiar estas. She is teaching English. Okay. He is sitting down. Hablando de una mascota. It is drinking water. Okay. Very good. Now, if I use you, sea singular o plural. We, they. What do I have to use? What is the verb to be? Are. Are. Very good. So, ahí está la regla. For example, maybe I use, they are teaching English. Okay. Uh, we are sitting down. You are drinking water. Okay. All right, very good. Questions? Uh, let me see. Vanessa, what are you doing right now? I am watching the class. Very good. Mm -hmm. Henry, what are you doing right now? I am sitting. Very good, I am sitting, okay. Uh, Let's see, who else do we have? Um, que no los puedo ver a todos porque estoy en este. Nestro, what are you doing right now? I am listening. Very good, listening es otro verbo, very good. Brenda, what are you doing now? I am what's the class. Uh -huh. Solo que ten tenemos que agregarle el... I ING. I ING. Do you see, Brenda? Are I you? am watching mm -hmm. class. I am watching. Oh. Hey, remember what you can say? Si estás si hablando de algo, de algo específico, for example, digamos que estoy viendo solo una película, I am watching the movie. The movie. Si quieres hablar de algo específico. I am watching the movie. Okay, very good. Now, this is what we're going to do, right? Vamos a hacer una serie de preguntas, speaking first, okay? Uh, el video se lo dejo para que ustedes lo puedan ver eh, mañana, okay? Puedan ver el video y empiecen a usar esta estructura que se usa bastante en inglés, okay? ¿Se acuerda que le dije que el verb to be era muy importante? Porque lo vamos a yes. ver en muchos verbos. Um, so, what are you doing? Esta va a ser la primera pregunta a su compañero. What are you doing? Okay. Another question. Who lives with you? Do you understand this question? ¿Quién vive contigo? Who lives with you? Okay. La persona puede decir, ah, my brother, my mother. Okay. Very good. Aquí viene la otra pregunta. Okay. What is she doing? For example, your mother. Okay, what is she doing? Entonces ustedes tienen que ver qué está haciendo su familiar. She is washing the dishes. She is watching the news. Okay? Do you understand? Preguntas? Tenemos 10 minutos. We're going to practice. Ready? Let's go. So, I'm going to give you these questions, okay? Les voy a dar este ejemplo para que ustedes puedan ver, eh, usarlo como referencia. But I want you to, to, to speak, okay? I want you to speak and practice that, okay? So, let's go to, um, to groups, 10 minutes, okay? Y con eso terminamos. Y cuando regresemos, les voy a tomar la foto de la, de la asistencia que se me olvidó. All right, very good. Let's go to groups of three. Repeat. Okay, let's go to groups, please. Uh, 
Sí, yo, yo, yo la cobré. Ah, oh, bueno. What are you doing? Uh, I am watching the com computer. Okay. Who lives with you? Uh, my company. No, who lives? Compañero. Ah, okay. Sí, porque comp a company es empresa. <laughs> uh, my, you can say partner. Partner. Partner, uh, partner. Uh -huh. Okay. And then the next question, Vanessa. And what is, or what are your partner doing? No dormir, no sé cómo se dice. How do you say sleep? And then ing sleeping sleeping. Okay, so uh, completar la estructura porque eso estamos practicando. What is she doing? What is your partner doing? His partner is sleeping. No, esa no es la estructura que vimos. No, no. Okay. For example, right? My 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 partner, my my wife, she is watching the news. She is reading a book. She is looking at her cell phone. Do you understand the structure? Entiende la estructura? Más o menos. Mr. Martinez un poco me quedo. Entonces tiene que levantar la mano. Teacher, no entiendo. ¿Me lo puede repetir otra vez? Cuando estoy, cuando estoy dando la lección, ¿verdad? Sí. Para evitar esto. Ok. Martínez. She is sleeping. Repeat. He, he. No, she, ¿verdad? No sé. She. She. No. Ella, ¿verdad? Sí. Él. Él. He. He. He is. is sleeping. 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 Ok. Excellent. Good job. So, do you understand? Necesitamos tener el sujeto. He. El verb to be okay. is. And then ing. Ok. Now. Tú le vas a hacer las preguntas a Vanessa. You ready? Eh, las compartió, Tisha. Sí. Está en el grupo de WhatsApp. Ah, bueno. Hello, hello. Hola, teacher. Speaking activity? Yes. yes. ¿Ya Surma, what, um, no. Okay. no. Okay. Surma, what are you doing? Surma, Surma. Can Hola. you hear us? Okay. Creo que no, no, no nos escucha. Okay, William, what are you doing? Uh, I am studying English. Okay. Who lives with you? Uh, and you? I live uh, my mother. What is your mother doing? Uh, my mother is watching TV. Is watching TV. Is watching TV. Very good. Okay, now I'll send the preguntas a Marcos. Okay, Marcos. Yeah. What are you doing? Um, I I am a English class. No, I am. No. And then you need ing. I am. I am. You can say I am studying English. I am listening to the English class. I am uh, watching the class. Mm -hmm. I am studying English, even. Ah, I am speaking. Eso está bien. Uh -huh. 
I am speaking English. Okay, very good. Okay, Marcos, how live with you? Um, I live with my parents. What is she doing? Uh, they are sleeping. They, ahí, una pregunta, cuando si quiero referirme como que ellos están durmiendo es they is sleeping o como? No, mm -mm. que dijimos con they, you and we, los cuales son pronombres plurales. ¿Cuál usamos? ¿Cuál verb to be? Are. They are. Uh -huh. are. They are sleeping? Yes, that's correct. Uh -huh. okay. Teacher, una pregunta ya que mencionó eso. Cuando aquí uh -huh. como estamos diciendo, what is she doing? Me estoy refiriendo a ella, ¿verdad? Pero en este, en este caso que él me dijo con sus parientes, sería la, la pregunta sería diferente. Uh -huh. What is parent doing? No, what are they doing? What are they doing? Oh, ok. Uh -huh. Y esa era mi duda porque como lo, lo dije nada más como estaba ahí, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Correct. What are they doing? Okay, very good. Good job. You did you did very good. Okay, speaking. Yes. Okay, David, what are you doing? I am uh, raising the English class. Okay, eh, ¿cuál es el verbo que estás usando ahí? No escuché bien el verbo que usaste ahí, por eso te repito. Este, recibiendo, pero no ah, lo pronuncié bien. Ah, ok, recibiendo. Receiving. Receiving. Ah, receiving. Ajá. Receiving the English class. Very good. Ok, that's correct. All right, let's go back and we're going to finish right now. Okay, very good. So, we were looking at the simple present uh, and the present continuous today, right? So, present continuous. What are you doing? I am, and then you have to use ing, right? I am listening to the class. I am listening to music. I am watching TV. I am walking, okay? Digamos que... Yo les escribo un mensaje mañana, eh, ahí como a la una de la tarde. What are you doing? Ustedes me tienen que responder. I am. I'm studying in English. I am. I am working. I am working. Very good. Very good. Okay. So, ¿para qué uso esto? Para describir acciones que estoy haciendo ahorita en este momento. Eh, no sé cuándo va a terminar esa actividad que estoy haciendo. For example, I am studying English. But I know that that is what I'm doing right now. Okay. All right. So, for homework, eh, pueden ver toda esta sección 4. Ahorita estamos, ya hicimos proceso. Aquí hay varias lecciones. Eh, vocabulary for clothes. Vocabulary for weather. Los possessive pronouns con los possessive adjectives. And now, 4.10, present continuous. Ok. So, tienen bastante que ver ahí. You can go ahead and look. Look at the sections. All right. Uh, I'm going to give you a worksheet that you can practice. Ahí en, en WhatsApp le voy a poner una worksheet para que puedan realizar eh, alguna práctica extra. Uh, remember, remember, first do the platform. Okay? Que es la prioridad. Okay. All right, very good. I'll see you tomorrow then, okay? Okay. Have a, have a good night. Good night. Good night. Okay, good night. Bye.